And I have a little bit of a philosophical question because my interest in science and my interest in spirituality actually came together at the same time in my adult life. Um, I'm now reading a lot of scientists who are either labeled legit scientists, some of them are labeled pseudoscientists. I'm talking about like Rupert Sheldrake, Graham Hancock, these people. A lot of people in physics as well are starting to open up to the idea and get away from that traditional classic atheist materialistic uh, a view of science and they're starting to open up to the fact that wow maybe the more that we see is actually more evidence for if not a god some sort of universal consciousness or some sort of plan or some sort of as Rupert Sheldrake calls it a morphic resonance that goes to the uh, you know that's kind of guiding everything towards a certain direction right um, as a scientist do you mind me asking this personal question are you atheist or do you have a spiritual side to you what a deep question. Yeah. Ooh. No, I think, wow. I think that, that so, there's a limit to what science can do. Mm -hmm. There's a limit to what you can uh, scientifically explore with an experiment, okay. right? Are there multiverses? Mm -hmm. There could be, or right. there could not be. We don't even know how to scientifically investigate whether or not we could prove that that was true or not. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> what's the answer? Faith. Right. You just need to believe, yeah. right? And there are so many things that scientists, mm -hmm. atheists even, believe but cannot prove. Right. You can't live your life without believing things that you cannot prove. Well, because you can't necessarily oh. prove God in, by, by you know, classic scientific standards, but you also can't disprove it either. That's like almost and the I definition use, of God. Right, and, I almost, and I hate using the word God. I've kind of like gone beyond that. I, I just think that we're all connected on a level that you can't measure in the material world, meaning that there are, even science says there's lighter... Uh, states of matter in nature that we cannot measure at all. Now, is that where the spiritual realm lives in? Or is that where it comes from? You know? Will science ever be done, right? right. Or are we just always going to have this kind of, oh, well, but, but then, but why that? But what's smaller than that? <laughs> or what's causing that? Right. Yeah. Why, why, why? Can that go on forever? Or will we reach an end where we're just left and science has explored everything that it can? I don't think so. Right. Some people do. Right. Um, but it is a fun ride to be on. Absolutely. <laughs>